Thank you, Kyle. Now to a follow up on a story we've been talking with you about earlier this week. It involves the state of Oregon's policy that allows hundreds of full time workers to live in any state they want. Some live in places like Ohio and New York and Florida and Texas. And there's a lot more states, too. And while it's one thing to live a long ways from Oregon and get your paycheck from the taxpayers here, it is quite another thing when that same policy requires taxpayers to foot the bill to bring those workers back to Oregon for meetings. You did not like that at all. I do not like my tax money going for their travel. If they're going to live in Texas, then they need to pay their own way back to the office for a meeting. They're not contributing to the Oregon economy by paying property tax and buying grocery store, groceries at the grocery store. Uh, they should, if they're working for the state of Oregon, they should live in the state of Oregon. Well, it turns out that Oregon lawmakers are just about as angry about that policy as you are. Today, Senator Tim Canope, the Republican leader in the state Senate, introduced a bill to stop that. Earlier today, he told me he was offended by the policy. And it's also not fair because uh, employees who have to commute inside of Oregon uh, most times do not get reimbursed by the state for that travel. And so we have essentially what's an inequity of uh, rank and file employees not being reimbursed while we have higher paid management employees that are making up to $200,000 a year are basically living in income tax free states and still working for the state, but the taxpayers footing the bill for the travel. And I just don't think it's right. Now, in case you're wondering if the bill has any support, yeah, it has huge support. Lawmakers will offer to put their names on legislation that they think is worthwhile or to be a co-sponsor, it's called. Canope says of the 30 people in the Senate, Democrats and Republicans, all 30 signed on to co-sponsor this bill. That is the maximum amount of people in the Senate who could sign on to this bill. And so uh, there are every member of the Senate wanting to make sure this policy changes. And we're going to work to try to make sure that it does. We have nearly half the House as sponsors as well. And I think people recognize the inequity here and that if this policy continues, that it will continue to be exploited by more and more employees. So it sounds like that was a dumb policy that's about to be slam dunked. We'll keep an eye on it, though, to let you know how that one goes.